All right, what is up, everyone? Here we are today with a variation on the Volumes Tick Tank Cane deck. We're going to play Wheels instead of Rifles today, which gives us early access to the Chuggy. It makes us a little bit weaker to Laser, and I think we auto-lose to Mutant, basically. Well, not auto-lose, but it's really hard to beat Mutant. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be a little bit stronger in the early game, probably, and then a little bit weaker, a little bit weaker later on. All right, so here we go with the wheels. Oh, we have a uh, we have Kane now, so we can use emotes again. Kane That's nice. lives. Kane lives, my dude. Kane lives. Now the main thing to remember about this deck is my wheels have moved one position to the left from where they normally are. So I'm gonna need to remember that. The wheels are now a different hotkey. I actually want to tank with the wheels. Yeah, nice. Now we're for the car. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not good. I need to take those extra hits. I do need to get a volley back here. Alright, nice. So we are ahead in the bike war by a very small amount. He's gone laser now because he's a coward, which means I guess we have to go chuggy. Yeah, we have to go chuggy. And I don't really want to tank with the chuggy, so... I'm going to send the bikes in to absorb hits. Like this. Oh, it didn't work out too. Okay, I'm going to go laser and find laser chuggy. I don't know if we have enough time to get back on these pads though. Maybe just about enough. Maybe he's just letting us walk on, then we do. So we can use the we can use our laser to tank his laser as well. Oh, now we're just gonna live the classic, classic chuggy laser light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just Jade doing Jade things, man. Just Jade. Just Jade doing Jade things. <laughs> Alright, let's get the Tick Tank. Let's get the Tick Tank borrowed. The Tick Tank is basically the mutant in this deck. Like, this deck is effectively mutant Chuggy, but with a Tick Tank instead of a mutant. So we get this tick borrowed in. And then we chill. I might actually... Uh, this deck might even be better with a stealth tank instead of a phantom. So basically we just do this. And we chill. And then we win the missile. You think tick tank cares about your weak ass cat missile? I mean he cares a little bit. I can't get the Chuggy to attack this because of the, the awkward microwing scenario. There's nothing to drive through to get to the laser because the two tiles here are blocked by enemy units. Alright, we're getting a new tick in. I guess we could Obelisk as well if we wanted to. Might as well, right? Give him a big, big middle finger Obelisk. <laughs> Alright, one hill. I don't know about that, man. That wasn't great. You are victorious. Alright, I actually think this map... I actually don't know if this map is better or worse. Oh, I did it. I, I talked about it last game and then I did it. That was meant to be a wheel. Alright, I guess we're opening bikes. Ooh, I was going to say opening bikes isn't that bad. Then we got as punished as it is possible to get. Because our opponent opened a missile before Harvester. So what I need to do is try and distract him with my bikes. Be like, hey, I'm going for your half. Don't go for my half. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted him to do. I wanted to chase my bikes around instead of going for my Harvester. Give me time to build like wheels and chuggy and stuff. Looks like he's gonna make a push. He probably could just. Well, I was gonna say he could probably just win the missile by chilling, but chuggy is gonna come out. We don't wanna tank with the chuggy. We'll let the wheels tank. Mm. So we need to shoot this and then run. Like, oh, wheels go. Oh, well, oh, I missed it. The wheels were meant to go up onto that top pad, but I missed it. So his pedals just blocked me out. I actually don't want to tank here with the Chuggy. I'm going to make wait for some wheels to come in. Alright, there we go. Now we'll just play Chuggy Laser for a bit. I do want to get a tick tank to replace these lasers in the middle. 
unit offline. Don't care about the turret at all. Which is surprisingly a large amount of damage there. Pull this and hit forward. Cool. Jump jets should die to Chuggy pretty easily. Put lasers down here. Alright, very nice. Now we have pretty firm control of the map. Move the tick tank up a tile. Chuggy is just so good, man. Look how strong this unit is. Actually insane. Oh yeah, we're just miles ahead now. Tony's just wrecking everything. We still have access to an obelisk if we ever want one. Shoot the jump jets but run away after putting Cloud down. We're gonna need to rebuild the tick and the Chuggy it looks like. Nice, we've got a Cloud down so it's gonna take a lot of damage. And then replace the tip, so we could just obelisk here. Well, we're not really doing anything. Yeah, okay, there's another, another tip of all obelisk now. Alright, cool. Pretty straightforward win once we get set up. The deck is definitely a lot stronger, missiles 2 and 3, than missile 1. Missile 1 is a little slow. Alright, this time I went wheels. This time I went wheels. Super smart. Up against Judas. I feel like I've played this guy before. No reason to do anything else until we see what he makes. And it is a Rhino. So I could go bikes. Or I could save all the way for a Tick Tank. I kind of want to save for a Tick Tank. Since we're not really going to be tech switching, we're just going to be making a Chuggy most likely. I feel like going Tick Tank might not be completely insane. Oh yeah, he's gone Pitbull now, so that's worked out really nicely. Obviously we have Raider, like Tick Tank wants to borrow, but you can also just use it as a tank and you can Raider around. Uh, it's probably been the missile, right? Yeah, cool. Get the Tick Tank over here on the Pitbulls. Now I'm going to aim to borrow it. Well, I guess we go laser since he hasn't got any infantry yet. Yeah, I'll block this guy from getting my harvester. And then we might as well go and... Well, actually I don't know if I want to do... I don't know if I do want to move in with the kick tank. Ooh, that's uh, weird. I'm pretty sure it's borrowed but it's got a visual bug where it looks unborrowed. Against a, uh, I will, I will use the raider against the rhino for sure. This guy doesn't look like he has great outs. It looks like he's playing like Liang, Rhino, Pitbull, Vortex or something. Like he hasn't made any other units yet. Yeah, okay. It looks like it might be Liang, Rhino, Pitbull, Vortex. So again, a sort of proper random obelisk. But yeah, this game is super over. That game was, uh, game was not remotely close. I have no idea what his tech units were, but I assume they're a fourth. Objective complete. Hopefully, a valuable lesson has been won has been learned this day. Three, two, one. New objective received. Well, this guy again. I'm pretty sure I played this guy today. Not in this run, but earlier today. Harvester ready. I think he's playing Chuggy. Lego. I think he's definitely playing Chuggy. I don't remember if it was Giga Chuggy. I think that was Sabo playing Giga Chuggy. Just goes bikes and immediately he wants to go Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I do not understand this. Like, I know I talk about it a lot, but I will never understand this. Like, he goes Harvest. His, his, his game plan was Harvester, and his first unit is bike and immediately goes to the Harvester. Like, what? Why is that what you're doing with your time? That just seems crazy to me. Is it to try and distract people from the pads? Like, what's the deal, man? I don't understand it. Alright, we'll just have a bike mirror. I don't mind a bike mirror. 
Once, once we get enough money, we can transition into a tick tank from the bike mirror, but I don't, I don't have a problem with the bike mirror. That looked like a second harvester going across. Yeah, okay, so we see laser, we have to go chuggy against that. Get a free shot. I get tick tank now as well. Get that set up. I don't really want to tank these lasers with my chuggy. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'll clean up the lasers whilst the tick tank absorbs some hits. And then these bikes can go kill this one. This map is like kind of awkward because there's nowhere to micro the chuggy. I actually want to get my tick tank up a tile so I can micro the chuggy through it better. Because then I can do this. It's much easier and like this. So yeah, this is actually better to get it up one tile. But then it's a little bit farther forward than I'd like. I think it's only out here as the Jade Missile, the Chem Buggy and Hit. That's GG then. Alright, cool. I wonder what his double harvester is for. Mission accomplished. Now this is my phone. Alright, duo down. What you got for me, buddy? Laser Star, that's pretty awkward. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna need to spam wheels before we can make our chuggy. This is why when people spam wheels against lasers, it's kind of a, a telltale sign that they're gonna chuggy you. Because they haven't got the text switch. They're just like, yep, just keep making wheels. We're probably gonna go bikes next. I'm gonna get these wheels to scout and tank. He doesn't have bikes yet. Oh, there they are. Yeah. We'll back up. If he wants to shoot my wheels, I'm okay with it. Because then I get to shoot his bikes in return. Now, Chuggy goes up and covers the flamers, which he made preemptively, assuming that I was going to make a uh, anti infantry infantry, which I just didn't provide Chuggy. Alright, so we're going to win this missile. And then I'm going to make wheels to tank his laser. Scorpion is very good against my deck. Uh, we're gonna go laser. I, I, if I have more time, if I like, I've seen it coming from further away, I'd make, try and make tick and get it borrowed. But since it's already on the pad, we're gonna go laser. We'll try and push out with laser plus buggy. And then once we have some space, we'll make the tick tank. We're trying to make space for the chuggy here and the tick tank. We took a little bit of damage, but not too much. I'm gonna suicide this laser as well. I want to get more lasers. Laser chuggy is really just where we want to be. That's annoying. I left a cloud on every tile on this pad pretty much, so it's really hard for me to put my lasers back on it. Alright, well, we're ending, we're going second missile, so I guess this is a reasonable time to frog. Get these back on the pad. Alright, looks like we got him. We're pretty much completely broke, though. We used all of our money. That's fine, though. Like, the, the obelisk was overkill. Okay, but these are underscores. I feel betrayed by him not using hashes. I don't really want to chase him onto his spawn point because then the laser spawns and kills the wheel. Yeah, exactly like that. So we probably want to go triple wheel because we don't have because we're waiting for Chuggy instead of a tech switch. Probably looking for triple wheel. Set up another concave. Might even go for another wheel. Try and bait him into even more lasers before we Chuggy try and clean up everything. It's annoying that he gets to see the Chuggy coming with these rifles. Though. He's probably going to get bikes now. I should just immediately pull up the laser, I don't even know what I'm, I don't need to wait and see what he makes, because I can just always pull up the laser, it's always good with Chuggy. He's gone, the thing. Alright. Get these lasers positioned. Alright, 
gonna be pretty difficult for you to get my uh, get my shuggy, bro. <laughs> There's a lot of lasers guarding it. Is he gonna try and push in, or is he gonna just let it go? So he's letting it go. I'd like to move up a tile. Makes it easier to march over the shuggy. So is he giving up the game? Or is he double half? It looks like he's double half. Okay, so now we just chill. Let me see what his tech unit is, I guess. Let me try and open this here. Could maybe even get a tick tank into position. That might be an okay play. Oh, oh almost messed up. Get some damage on the chuggy there. I think getting a tick tank position would be a good play here. Although against the shades, I don't know if it is the, I don't know if it's the one. Flame tank. Alright, well, thank god we got that tick tank gate. Eh? Pretty lucky. I'm gonna get another tick tank. I'm gonna obli- oh, I can't obli- close enough, that's not it. Another laser. I need to actually get out of the way so I don't kill- I don't get killed by the splash damage. And now we obli- when the flame tank comes in. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, flame tank's so insane. I'm spam some more lasers. And we're gonna need a chuggy. And uh, hopefully he doesn't have another flame tank because that would be a real problem. Oh, here it comes. Hopefully we have enough time. So he can block maybe? This is really... I need phantom, that's what I need. He has his own phantom coming in, but it's like just too late. Oh my god, that was super close though. Flame tank is a scary unit, man. That is a terrifying unit. You are victorious. Unicorn Princess, alright, big fan. Since they've opened barracks, we'll just go second wheel. Looks like they're switching to War Factory, yep. So I'm just gonna wait for a tick, probably. We can chase after a pit bull with a tick tank, it's not, not a problem. And then these two wheels can handle this, uh, this missile. I'm gonna get a for more, more missiles. Okay, pretty straightforward. Do normal stuff. Get lasers to pull up the chuggy. I don't really want to tank the uh, missiles that much. Probably gonna need more laser to get this walker to not kill me. But yeah, we can just play a hyper efficient laser chuggy strat. Nice, nice. It's obelisk. Doesn't really like he knows how to break it, which is fair enough. It's tough to break. Not an easy combo to beat. It just lasers everywhere. Chuggy kills all the rifles. You need something that kills lasers without dying to chuggy, basically. Unit ready. Defense launched. Could have even gone phantom if I wanted to. <laughs> that was like not close. That was kind of a brutal matchup. He, he, I mean, they did have iron cannons, so potentially saving for an iron cannon was the play. Like a Talon? Should have gone Talon. Hanmoku. Hanmoku? Alright, start, so we'll go double wheels. So the thing that's really great about this deck 
is you basically get to start with wheels, which is one of the strongest opening units in the game. You get very good early games with opening wheels. Um, you have one of the best anti infantry units in the game with the Chuggy, maybe the best currently in the game. And then you get to play the laser Chuggy combo, which is incredibly efficient and beats most things. And then when people have answers to Laser Chuggy, uh, you can turn into Laser Tick Tank instead, which is uh, kind of the same sort of thing, but doesn't shoot up. It's like a more powerful version of, of Laser Chuggy, but doesn't shoot up anymore. And it's so beefy to have the Tick Tank, it really just holds a tile forever. And then because people have to push in on your Tick Tank when it's set up, that's usually how the deck is supposed to function, you get set up and then people have to attack into you. You then have Obelisk whenever people attack into you. Just like when people have to move into an obelisk, it's an incredibly strong ability. So we're gonna get our own tick tank set up. His tick tank's getting corrected. This is uh this one this chem, chem warrior is actually very good against this deck because it doesn't die to the cloud, so it takes a really long time to kill a chem warrior with a chem buggy. Like you only have the raw DPS of the chem buggy, which was quite high is obviously not high compared to DPS plus Cloud, which is what you normally have. Alright, there goes the chems. Gonna move the tick down a tile. There's clouds everywhere up here, it makes it hard to move our lasers around. Actually Chuggy's on the bed so we're gonna build a new one. And then here we can obelisk. He has to, he has to push in on our stuff. So although the obelisk isn't great against these lasers, it is just an additional it's just additional damage that he basically has to interact with. Swap these around. So as you can see these lasers down here, they got eventually killed by the obelisk and then we just have we just have all three parts. Very difficult thing to fight back. Enemy base destroyed. Same guy, so we're probably going to play exactly the same strategy. To be honest with you, a deck like this, um, the what you do is very similar every single game. You very rarely, uh, you very rarely like change your strategy around too much because you're so reliant on this just chuggy plus laser combo for almost all of your games. You really don't, uh, you don't have like a lot of fluid gameplay. Like a lot of your gameplay ends up being very similar each game. Which means it can be a good deck to just learn to master as well. Like, this is very similar to what the Packer plays all of the time. He plays Mutants instead of Tank. But otherwise, his deck is pretty much the same. Um, I think he plays Stealth Tank instead of uh, instead of um, Phantom as well. But his deck is very similar, and he's one of the he's one of the serious tournament players in Rivals. But it's just a it's just a because your because your deck plays the same so often, you can really master it. Like every game you're going to be making the same sort of plays. Your tech switches are kind of like forced a lot of the time. Like a lot, you're always going to go in wheels, you're always going to go chuggy against infantry. You're always going to go lasers and tanks against uh, against vehicles and aircraft. So yeah, you're just kind of very set in what you're doing. Which means it's very easy to just learn by repetition and just learn how to play the deck by encountering every single scenario and beating it exactly the same way. It's like you have one tool for every job basically. And you use that one tool every single time. I mean this game is going exactly the same as last time. Even down to the fact that the Chuggy is the unit I'm replacing and I'm going to pop a random obelisk against Laser. This game is exactly the same as last game. Yeah, that's the Jade Missile, we don't care because it's too late. And classic Jade, the cloud expired before it landed. Classic Jade. Alright, here we go. Up against another Jade player. Wheels? A mirror match, perhaps? Except, of course, I'm playing Kane, and my deck is wild. Like, the odds of playing a mirror match playing this deck is very slim. Oh, it's Barracks immediately, that's weird. Opening wheels and then going Barracks against other wheels is really weird. Is he planning to make laser next? Or mutant? Very confused right now. 
Oh, he went mutant. Wow. Okay. Well, this is going to be the toughest matchup for this deck probably because mutants beat chuggies and wheels pretty easily. But what you need to do here is just like the classic: don't tank with the chuggy. You got to get damage onto the mutants whilst moving. Uh, move, like, you got to have something else tank the chuggy. Yeah. Have something else tank the mutant whilst the chuggy does uh, does the kill. You can see how much damage my uh, chuggy took, and that was with a wheel to tank for it. We just retargeted a couple of times and almost killed the chuggy. I'm actually going to lose the chuggy here. It's a shame. All right, we're going to go tank, but we know he has mutants. So we're going to need uh, we're going to need chuggy follow up. But yeah, this is mutants. If he made only mutant, I would probably lose the game. Like that is that is how how bad this deck is against mutant order. So he's trying to chase down this thing. So we're gonna go chuggy and then we're gonna wait for this wheel dies and fresh wheel. Because I don't want to tank with the chuggy. Get this on here. Get this over here so it's closer for the micro. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to move the tick. That's pretty bad. It's gonna take a ton of damage now. I also wanted it to tank for me. So we're gonna go in. Yeah, okay, I have to back out. I have to wait for a wheel. Can't tank the movements with the chuggy really. Yeah, mutants are tough, man. Mutants are really tough. He's not shooting the chuggy though, which is great. We're just tanking with other stuff while the chuggy kills them. Even then, you can see how hard it is. Like, even with him not shooting my chuggy, I'm still losing the missile here. I don't know if this tick tank will be quick enough. I'm gonna hobble this in case it buys me more time. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's just about. But he like stopped making units there for a little while. I don't know what's going on. Maybe pop cap or something, but. You can see how close that was. That killing mutants is hard. Killing mutants is really hard. Mission All right, there you go. I think that was 10-0. Um, the deck is really good, uh, except that mutant marauder is an absolute beating. Grenadier, not so much because grenadiers are terrible. But mutant marauder, mutant marauder is really tough. If your opponent makes only mutant marauders, it can be impossible to win. I think. I actually saw that happen in a tournament game: Lapaka versus Surpus. And Serpus made only Mutant Marauder for the entire game. Uh, Noitex says Giga would be rough. Yep, that's also true. Any any deck like this where you're a War Factory based deck um, with not much air units, yeah, Giga and MLRS can be really tough as well. Against Giga, you have to like bait them into an Obelisk, which can be really like if people are sensible, they won't go in range of an Obelisk. But if you can bait a Giga into an Obelisk and kill it, you can you can win the game like that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time.